going on everybody as you see I'm on front of the webcam because this is going to be a, an end of the year review video which I'm going to choose certain clips from my previous uploads on YouTube from this year like I always do every end of the year for the end of the year review series since 2012 so I want you to go ahead and enjoy some of the clips I uploaded throughout 2012, I mean 2014. So I know we did, there's not much I did in 2014, but I chose a few good clips to share with you guys from previous uploads. And hopefully, it will be better, the um, video will be hopefully better than ever in 2015 so enjoy earlier it wouldn't boot up and actually when I got the computer I got another monitor which has built-in speakers which is this HP this is the HP VS 17 with built-in speakers I put it over I connected it over here to this computer so it'll have its original monitor because I had a, mo a monitor like that from the before I got that computer actually when I, when I went and got that one before that's the kind of monitor that one had see everything's lighting up you can hear the hard drive cutting on and you notice right here on the keyboard there's no light so and nothing showing on the screen but the video card in this is still good you can hear that CPU fan idling. I look like this computer is about on its way out. You want to make sure you have Internet Explorer 8 installed, which is you want to get the latest version of Internet Explorer for Windows XP. And this is Internet Explorer 8 that I have installed. So you want to go ahead and install Internet Explorer 8 to, to do this. And another thing is, I've actually upgraded Windows Update to Mic Windows Update to Microsoft Update. So what I'm going to be doing is installing all of the high priority updates because it said Microsoft said they were supposed to be making an update to fix the SVC host bug so some people are going to be like that are watching this video like oh it's not worth it because <laughs> yeah because you're probably too lazy enough to install the updates or some people can be like man updates suck yeah because you got a pirated version of Windows on your computer why not get a licensed copy of Windows or a pirated copy that allows the update Rarely because Microsoft can find a way to put ads back into Skype. But one thing, it will not work for any versions of Skype made for Linux or Mac. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? What you make the okay? What you need to do is open up this module because it does take SD RAM, and the maximum amount is. 512 it already got a 256 module in one slot and I'm gonna also throw in this 40 gig hard drive and take that 60 gig hard drive out of there and probably I might either put Windows 2000 or Windows 98 it even got a Windows ME COA and I can and it even got its service tag but other than that I even got something along with it when I got the Dell Dimension LA 100 R back some so pieces of software that came with that compact Presario 5000 I scrapped for, my, um, for a family sale which like certain devices like cash registers and ATMs and etc use that op that type of operating system it's actually like Windows XP embedded which is pretty much common on other devices like Coinstar machines and you get the point and like the coke freestyle fountain and like burger king and 
you can tell the start menu is all stripped down. It's like this when when you first install it by default. Clear type isn't enabled you know, by default. You have to enable that through going through the visual effects button through the display properties if you want to enable clear type. Comes with Internet Explorer 7 and Windows Media Player 11. But actually I've upgraded from Internet Explorer 7 to Internet Explorer 8 because that's the latest version of Internet Explorer it can support. What's going on you guys? Today is the day that Windows XP and Office 2003 is no longer supported and which you can tell it's already April 8th and this machine right here as you see it's running Windows XP of course so yeah both Windows XP 32-bit and the 64-bit edition is no longer supported and the um the 64-bit edition is only, in, only available with the professional edition so basically 32-bit was only available to consumers but unless if you knew how to pirate it you'd be able to run it in no time and I'm also going to try an experiment of the Windows XP product activation using the original label that's on side of the case so I can show it to you guys I just have my finger over it and I'm gonna um, it does boot up just fine I just left it alone for a few days Well, I got all the files backed up for this machine anyways in case if something happens and the lines from the monitors from the refresh rate so I apologize for the lines and the monitor but as you see it just boots up just fine just a little slow because it's an AMD K6 processor It's, I still got all my stuff and none, none of my stuff got lost or corrupted which is a good thing I'm trying to hold the camera still but it still functions just fine like that about box is pretty much from Google Chrome which I noticed Firefox and Google Chrome use some same code when they were being in development but uh but he only saw that when he had version 4 but and this is what like you can eat this you can easily customize certain items by just dragging it into this little box. Let's say if you, you want to put ad block up here, you could. You can just simply drag it down here if you don't want it in your way. That's what I like. You can even add all sorts of options, tab groups. Hold on one minute. sorry for that you can even add the tab groups which was pretty much added from later versions of Firefox my uh, last update video and for those of you who are watching for the first time may notice the head unit I got this is a Pioneer DEH X26 UI which has four different sources you got regular radio front auxiliary, USB, and CD. And, and the CD player uses the WMA and MP3 formats, which is pretty nice. And I even got a CD holder for one, one of them typical CD holders you can get at Walmart. And actually, I um, sometimes might like to play CDs, sometimes. If I have any CDs laying around, I can just pro 
use the traditional format of CDs. But I don't hardly play CDs. But I have it just in case if I want to listen to some certain CDs, like mix, like a mix CD. You know what I'm talking about. And that's I also like it because it has these two feature functionalities. Because I can. The main reason I like to have the USB is for like a flash drive. I can just stick it in there and have all my music. Or sometimes I can use an MP3 player. You can just plug in more than MP3 players and flash drives like iPods or iPhones or any other smartphone. And you, could, you can even charge your smartphone through this little USB port. Pretty much like that. What is going on you guys? Is your flash drive not working properly? I'm going to show you how to get your flash drive to work properly and get it to cooperate because there is this little symptom with some flash drives that can be not isn't really that common on certain machines but you can do this on any computer using Windows Vista 7 or 8 or 8.1 and I notice when you plug it in sometimes they don't give you the um, autoplay option or the drive doesn't show up in Windows Explorer but there is a possibility it still shows up somehow but one thing you must back up all your data before doing this on on some other type of storage or a different source of storage and this video will show you how to get your flash drive working again And a disclaimer for those of you, which is like part of the JMS software or the JSMS software package. And you can um, use your computer's keyboard or or joypad to um, be to help it out with the um, emulation. And I'm going to do a little small rundown of a few games that they got. This is actually a, a suggested collection of games that will run at a proper speed for, in, on any proper, any powerful browser. And it knows I'm currently using Firefox. Because it says Firefox is currently the fastest environment. Although other browsers should work as well. I'm running version 34 on my, which is my default browser. So some of you may notice by updating your Mozilla Firefox to a later version, you're probably going to get this little message box that's going to say "Choose Yahoo for searches." And hit, if you hit later you'll still maintain or retain your default search engine service for example if you're using Google it'll still keep Google but I'm gonna get into full around it but uh I might test that monitor and keep, it might be good or bad but the only bad thing is it's missing this bottom piece that you mount it on but if it works, I'll probably keep it as a spare and just use it on the uh, HP Pavilion 6640C. But uh, and this keyboard actually looks identical to that one I have for the compact, for my compact. And I even got some extra speakers that I can use on the. Um, probably could use them on the e-machines because I'm gonna end up hooking them up onto the e-machines in the other room so yeah hope you guys really enjoyed this little short acquisition video I'll have a video on that computer when I get it ready to go up and run it and thanks for watching